quote unquote walk in together. I don't need to be. Her pronouns correct? I do use she, her. You use they, them? Yes, that's correct. Oh, it's so nice to see you again. I thought you looked familiar. Uh, I think I'm remembering right. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've met before. So I just wanted to let you know. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about this formal interview kind of setup. Is there just gonna be like, is it just gonna be like simple questions, kind of like back and forth discussion? Well, first off, I'm so glad you were able to come last minute. My colleague and I were brainstorming someone else from the community to interview and your name came up. <laughs> and that's really understandable about the nerves. Uh, about like, someone else from the community and your name popped up. That's really understandable about your nerves. So please don't worry. When people hear the word interview, they tend to freeze up and make it out to be something it's not. I just want to know a little more about you as a person, your family, your profession, and how you spend your time outside of work. How's that sound? Can you go back to, um, I just want to know about... Yeah, I just want to know a little more about you as a person, your family, your profession, and how you spend your time outside of work. How's that sound? Sounds wonderful. All right. Well, do you mind telling me about your identities? Sure. Sounds great. Several identities. White, deaf, disabled, queer, and understand that uh, sexual orientation and and gender identity are both queer. identify as a, a survivor and a Columbus citizen. All right, my first question is what makes you, or what do you love most about living in Columbus? Top is definitely the community. Deaf community, deaf schools, you know, how people's backgrounds are just so diverse. For example, you know, the refugees have just come in here and it's, and it's just amazing that they've all moved here. It's such a benefit. Um, and you know, the LGBT community and the queer community as well. Yeah, how wonderful. I can definitely relate to loving the diversity and feeling of belonging in Columbus. Whatever your niche is, you'll be able to find your people. Absolutely love the diversity and the feeling of belonging in, in Columbus. Whatever your niche is, you'll be able to find your people. Exactly, I love that. Well, what do you find most challenging about living in Columbus? The 
the laws are kind of, you know, I because community laws are often not helpful to the queer community for example you know um, in Columbus in downtown Columbus laws that protect sexual orientation. However, gender identity laws, there aren't any. And that's all over the state. And for both, there's none. So you know what I mean. Yeah. So that's the worst. Yeah. Especially with our youth too in schools. Exactly with the schools. Especially with kids and their gender identity, and they want to pick which restroom, you know, they can't really think for themselves. They have to kind of respect what the school says, or honor what the school says. And it'd be really nice if we had laws and we really need laws for you know kids in schools that would honor their gender identity choice yeah you're right we feel the impact of that on a day-to-day -day basis. Especially with that current administration. Administration, you mean like just for a school district or? Mm. You know, that current administration. Yeah, it's not helpful, it's made it worse. The acceptance and blatant verbal abuse of marginalized communities, as well as actions to actively remove rights and protections, are really hitting home. Can you go back to, I'm sorry, can you go back to marginalized communities? The acceptance and blatant verbal abuse of marginalized communities, as well as actions to actively remove rights and protections, are really hitting home. been deteriorating and I don't really understand why there's no reason or I agree with you anyway we'll, we'll move us we'll move past that <laughs> great well tell me about your family You understand in the queer community, you know, typically we replace our uh, given family with our chosen family in the queer community. So I have four. Just four chosen family members. I definitely have more, but this is my very small tight-knit group of people. My partner Jonah. <laughs> I'm a little tired, <laughs> sorry. I 
have Marquise as well, who is my boyfriend. And my absolute best friend, which is Jaquay. I think I'm spelling that or saying that wrong. I think it sounds like Jack Jax. And my absolute best friend, Jess, whose last name is Arthur. And they use they, them pronouns, the last one. And they're, they're a writer like you. They work at the website Columbus Alive. Do you know them? Oh, yes, yes, I do know them. I just read one of their blogs the other day. You were just? I just read one of their blogs the other day. It was excellent. What a small world. So small, I agree. But they're a very skilled writer. Oh, what do you do for work? I'm a nurse. I work at OSU uh, Wexner Medical Center.